Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And it's that time for the update with the hydroponic cucumbers as well as tomatoes. We have four beautiful cucumber plants growing right here. These are the dragon egg cucumbers. And as you see, they're beginning to grow nicely into the trellis. I'm not training this plant at all, I'm just letting it grow wild and it seems to be doing a good job filling everything in and spreading out nicely and it's actually doing so good that I actually have a few tiny cucumbers to show on the video look at this when I lift this one up right over there that's where we have a beautiful cucumber growing that flower hasn't yet opened it's gonna open up in probably tomorrow I would say maybe even sometime tonight but most likely tomorrow will be fully bloomed and completely open and you know when it's fully bloomed for example if you look right here the flower petals are not inwards like this like you see sometimes early in the morning but completely open and nice and wide and the best time to pollinate plants are basically anytime afternoon when it's had already a few hours of sunlight and had time to open up because at night most of these flowers close up and they require the light to open up, ba open back up again. So I actually noticed from the t this, the time when the cucumbers are really small, for example, like this one, even a little bit before that, right when you first start seeing the flower form, it takes about I would say two to three days for it to actually fully open up. For example, like this one we have right here. I actually pollinated this thing a few minutes ago and all I, sent, all I did was basically take a male flower and you know it's a male flower because behind it there's no fruit so it's very simple to to do and here's the flower with this nice beautiful few little petals right there and it smells really nice actually so what you want to do is just simply peel the petals back and right it right there in the middle that's the pollen and all you do is come in and put it right inside the the cucumber and just basically spin that around sorry about that i'm gonna try to hold this up and we're doing this with one hand so it's a little bit sloppy and just give that a nice little spin all inside the middle and the pollen will transfer from the male flower into the female right there in the center and you, I could already see that the pollen's already in there so in a couple of days that should close up like we have let me find it I don't seem to see it right now but there's another cucumber here somewhere hiding that's growing and probably a third one somewhere and here's another one that's really small like I mentioned this one's already probably this is probably day one of what I was mentioning and in about three days it'll go from this right here to this one so you see the cucumber actually gets a tiny bit bigger and once it's opened up fully that's the point when it wants the flower the pollen from the male flowers and don't worry you have even even if you're growing one plant you don't need to grow four like I am you will have so many flowers that's been growing all over the place you there's way more male flowers to female I would say maybe about 10 male flowers for every one female maybe even more and I actually did some interesting things with this cucumber growth this time and what I did was basically I came in from the bottom as you see it has nice space right over here that's completely open so it has room to breathe the airflow is able to go through better to the base of the plant and I came off and I clipped off some of these lower leaves similar to like this one here and the lowest ones I clipped off on all of these plants so maybe I took off maybe about two or three off of each one and that's okay because basically what you, the most important thing with cucumbers is the flower and the fruit right there is basically most likely connected to it's closest leaf right over here so this is probably the leaf that's generating most of the energy and producing the growth into this specific fruit right here so you don't you wouldn't want to clip this off but the lower ones there's absolutely no fruits underneath them or anywhere around it so it's safe to clip off 
just a nice little hint right there and I did that with all of these and actually another thing that I did was I came in every day and I clip off a lot of these male flowers and I clip as long as there's no female flower like this present I know I basically have about a day or two to do that and that actually speeds up the the rate for this flower to open up and blossom so that's what you want I want to be I don't want to wait forever to pollinate these these fruits and if I, if I could speed it up a tiny bit I figured let me try see if it works and it definitely does so clip off some of your male flowers the ones that you can when you don't need them and everything else will speed up a tiny bit and I notice actually the nutrient level is just about completely empty so I'm going to come in and refill these this time instead of using the flower the, my flowering mix which is three grams master blend two grams calcium nitrate I'm sorry three grams calcium nitrate and two grams Epsom salt I'm going to use just the vegetative stage this way it's the, a little bit lower ppm and the cucumber in particular seems to actually like I think a lower level even though from the recommended amount and the leaves seem to be looking pretty happy and very green so I'm gonna keep that going I, I'm seeing a tiny bit of yellowing at the very tips of some of these leaves which is basically almost like a magnesium deficiency but that's normal because there's probably absolutely no nutrients left in this thing I'm sure the plant suck everything up already and the only thing that's left is maybe a tiny bit of water so that's expected once I refill these containers using two grams master blend two grams calcium nitrate and one gram of Epsom salt that's my vegetative mix usually these plants will have a nice little boost in growth and put on a ton of new growth here so we'll keep that going and the tomatoes the blue blue green Wagner this is the first flower that I have right here so you could just come in and simply tap that a couple times and tomatoes are self pollinators so as long as you get the pollen to shake a tiny bit like you see right there, the being that this is indoors, there's no wind being generated like you normally would outdoors. That that will most likely pollinate it. And hopefully in a couple of days the the leaves and the petals will fall off and a, a tiny tomato will be growing behind there. And uh, tomato vernus edge is looking kinda nice. This one in particular died I noticed. It completely fell over, so that's not that great but I still have four pretty healthy looking plants here and let's see if I see any flowers forming yep right over here we have tiny tiny little flowers beginning to form 